almost 2017. Who's ready for some PRs? U-turn. Just driving to the gym to go hit some squats and the mail truck went that way. I don't know what it is, but I know a few days ago Silent Mike said, send me your address. I don't know what he would be sending because I already have knee sleeves, I have the multi-purpose wraps, I have compression cuffs, I have the hip circle, I have the slingshot. I really don't know what else there is, but I have a feeling it might be that package. If not, oh well, but you never know because there might be something in there that can help me get some gains. Gotta open the door first. Shouldn't be that out of breath from running up and down about 20 stairs, but bulk lot. No, I'm just kidding. It was a package from Slingshot, which is awesome. But again, I have no it. Sounds important. I think I know what that is. Whoops. Super training. Strong. Not yet, someday. The new wrist straps, which would be sick for benching. Tomorrow's bench day. And that's what I figured this was. That's awesome. So it's the belt in red. As you guys know, for years and years and years, I've had the blue Inzer belt. So I actually don't have experience using a prong belt. I, uh, Inzer has a lever, but I'm sure you'll get used to it. One thing I noticed the second I took it out of the box was the fact that you could bend it like that. Anyone who's bought an Inzer belt, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, or any other belt like that, you'll know that it's not broken in. It takes months. You usually just roll them forward, roll them backwards, and keep doing it over and over and over again until they finally start to break in a little bit because they are stiff and you will get bruises from them. Still to this day, sometimes I'll get a, like a bruise from my Inzer belt, but that's awesome. So, Silent Mike, Mark Bell, uh, thank you guys so much for sending that out. I'm gonna bust my ass every day. So, we're going to the gym right now. We're gonna hit some squats. All right, week one of the program is officially started and from the comments on the last video, the feedback has been nothing but positive. So to give you an idea of how me and Silent Mike are approaching this is I gave him some numbers that I've hit in the past, some previous PRs, and I linked him up with some of my older videos. And then what we did was we ran a test week and I filmed some of my lifts there, I sent everything over to him, and he just really wanted to see how my technique looked and he took it from there. So that's what we're gonna be working on, documenting everything for you guys week to week, which I'm excited for, and really, really working on technique. And I I think that when you're working with a new coach and someone who's as experienced as Silent Mike, you really want to take what they say and obviously every single person lifts differently, but I want to start with him from the ground up and let him make any corrections that he has to make rather than just throw random PR numbers at him and have him base percentages off of, you know, maybe a shitty one rep max or a rep that didn't look so good. So I'm really all in this to avoid injury and to keep getting stronger. And we'll talk about that in other videos, but today called for a three by five with 215 pounds followed by an AMRAP, so as many reps as possible, and I was able to get it for 13. And I noticed my biggest issue was actually just breathing. So it took me a little while to reset in between each rep and actually get a belly full of air, but he gave me some cues that I could work on to get better at that. So that was how the 215 went, and then we moved into some pause squats, which was 185 for three sets of five to eight reps, and I did all three sets with eight reps, beltless, and felt really damn good. So that wrapped up the squats for the day, and I followed it up with some accessory work, and as far as accessories go with this program, Silent Mike left that in my hands, but if there are any glaring weaknesses and he feels that certain exercises will benefit me more, we'll throw those in also. So that's gonna wrap up this training footage for the day. Thanks for watching guys and enjoy the rest of the video.
All right, so I got to give my gym props for the music that they play. Sometimes it's rock, sometimes it's rap, but it's usually always on point and extremely loud, so that makes it hard for me to talk to you guys while I'm training. But today just called for seven sets of three on the bench with 185 pounds, and what I was really working on during this session was keeping my elbows tucked in a little bit more. Sometimes you just go into a lift and you start overthinking everything, like retracting your scapula, keeping your back tight, leg drive, squeezing your glutes, you know, grabbing the bar as hard as you can. And I just think that when you overthink lift too much, it's just going to actually make it worse. So today I was really working on keeping the elbows tucked and bar path. So that was all I was concerning myself with. So seven sets of three with 185 moved really well. In my opinion, I was happy with it. I'll let Silent Mike critique it, see what he has to say about it. And then we moved into a close grip bench press. We had three sets of 10 with just 135 and then accessory work. So I moved into some shoulder press. I did a little bit of hammer strength. And again, he pretty much allows me to do what I want for upper body or lower body accessory work. He believes that hand, uh, you know bodybuilding and powerlifting do go hand in hand. So a lot of people think that you have to pick one or pick the other when that's not necessarily the case. And I do believe that if there is a specific lift you want to get stronger at, you should specialize in that lift or you should pick a program that's geared towards getting you stronger at that lift. So there are plenty of programs out there already. Even if you're just looking to do basic powerlifting stuff, Wendler's 531 is a great program. And I believe even in that, you can program some of your own accessory work in. So he pretty much told me to do the things that I enjoy doing as long as I'm not overdoing it and it's affecting my recovery. And this is the way I'm gonna do it from now on. And again, if there's something that he thinks I should throw in, I'll do that. But for now, I'm just gonna have some fun, get the you know, main lifts out of the way, and then um, just get that pump. Here's how the training footage is gonna work. What I'll likely do is a weekly recap. So from week to week, I told you guys I'm gonna document the entire thing, all my progression. But since we're in the early stages of the programming, there's no sense in showing you two squat workouts a week, two bench workouts a week, the deadlifts. So I'll probably combine some of that together for one video, maybe make one other lift its own separate video and break down the technique in that one. So just giving you guys as much variety as possible, showing you the progressions on my off days or the days where I have free reign to do whatever I want, like let's say a back day, I'll give you guys some commentary, I'll do an informative video, some raw footage, an edit, whatever it is, just to keep everything entertaining as far as the training goes. So. That's the way things are gonna go with that. I do have some goal numbers in mind that I wanna hit, and I'm setting the bar high, and we'll talk about that for another video, and I think Silent Mike's feedback will be important on that based on how I'm progressing, but there are numbers that I wanna hit. I'm gonna work my hardest, my heart. <laughs> I'm gonna work my hardest in order to hit those numbers. I pulled over 500 before, and it, it wasn't the best pull ever, so just having that in my mind, knowing that I have the strength to actually do it, and now just getting the technique down so I can do it efficiently, and make sure that it wasn't just a good day. I wanna hit numbers, that I know I can go in there and nail them with good form, so that's the goal. Um, what else? Go home and eat dinner. I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna eat dinner soon. We're in Starbucks right now. We're gonna caffeine a little bit. We're gonna get some work done. To any of my clients that are watching this video, you have two workouts left, depending on when I post this video. 2016's coming to an end. Anyone watching this, actually, I want you to make these last workouts count. I want you to put in the work, and I want you to follow me on social media because I am going to probably get to the point of annoying with my posting, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I wanna offer you guys as much value as possible. I wanna connect with you guys, interact with you guys, hear about what you all are doing in 2017 and I'm gonna really change things up on my end. So stay tuned for all that. Make sure to follow me. Links will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and we will talk to you in the next one. Or maybe upper lower is the best program for you, but you don't have the time to do it. So it's gotta fit your schedule, and it's gotta be something that you'll stick to and that you'll enjoy. Someone asked, Nicholas, can you put this on your next YouTube vid so I could be in it? There you go, bro. You're on YouTube right now. I'll put this in the next video. Taylor's in here. What up, Taylor? Oh, there we go. There we go. I follow you from Italy. That's awesome. Shout out to Italy.